Morning, goats. How we doing, baby? Yeah. Miss Dexter. Still no babies, Dexter? The thing is, is as you can see, her udder is really starting to fill up with milk. I think she's definitely going to be due any day now. I noticed Dexter up here. She's been acting uh, quite strange this morning. She's not going out up on the hay there to eat hay with the other goats. She's kind of staying back here by herself. Um, I think I want to go ahead and I'm going to move her over to one of the kidding stalls. We like to um, separate the, the goats out when they're kidding. Uh, at first we used to let them all together and didn't have a problem with it. But now since we got cows, I don't like the idea of a cow having the opportunity to step on a baby and potentially hurt a baby. I don't think it would be intentional by any means. However, hold on there a second. I think it would be purely accidental, but I don't really want to chance that possibility. But I think we're getting babies today. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dexter. Come on, girl. Back here. Come on. No. Come on, girl. Hopefully I get to catch this on film. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. For you guys. She always has some beautiful babies. She always does really well for us. There you go, Mom. Okay. Put some hay. I'm going to go ahead and get you a bucket of water and I'm going to keep an eye on you. 
because I have a feeling today's the day. How many you think is in there? Three? She usually has at least three. So it looks like Miss Dexter is in labor. I'm gonna to try to get as much as I can on film here. So I guess that's about it for me for the day for working. So she's finally laid down now. Oh, there's a foot. I see a foot. They yawn like that for labor contractions and labor pain. I think it looks like a little girl. Hold still, girl. Hold still. There you go. You okay? It's a little boy. So, so far she's had a little girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So, so far she's still at two, one boy and one girl. But I think there's still more in there. She is big. I mean, last year she was huge like this and she had triplets. I don't know if she's going to give us quads or not. I think she's pushing again. The thing is, is mom is a Kiki boar cross and dad is a Nigerian dwarf. So they're a little smaller than a normal baby, which allows her to... <laughs> have multiple ones in there. <laughs> so we have number three. And number three is a little boy. Okay, so she just had baby number four. So far she has two boys. And a little girl. She still looks so big. Like, I don't know. She gets her first drink of milk. So she's doing awesome. I'm hoping mom has enough milk for them all. Oh my gosh. Another one over there trying to get a drink, his first drink. What I always do is I let them go here for a little bit, maybe for like an hour, then I come up and check them all. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell when you pick them up whether their belly's full or not, whether they have any milk in them or not. If they don't, then we go ahead and get the milk and start supplementing them. But if we pick them all up and they all feel nice and full, and we know everybody got a drink, then we let it at that. Right there, that other one's trying to get latched on. He's almost got it. Something tells me she's not done. And we're gonna have our first set of five. We've only had, we've had quads once. But when we had that set of quads, I think one of them did die. So we ended up with three babies.
been getting so close. He's getting so close. There he is. He's got it. Nope. No, he didn't. There he goes. Now he's got it. Looks like the other ones are now all getting a drink. I'm hoping she's done in some ways. In other ways, it would be kind of neat for her to have five. We've never had one have five. We'd definitely have to take some off of her and bottle feed them. I'm waiting to see how she does with four. I mean, the thing is, is number one, she does have a nice udder, as you can see. So it looks like they're eating now. So it looks like she has four now. It looks like they're all eating. Everybody's doing great. I'm hoping that she's done in some ways because if she has five, we're definitely going to have to take one off of her to help her out. I mean, I think she could handle four. The one nice thing is because she is a kiki boar goat. Um, as you see, she has a nice big udder on her, so she has lots of milk. And with the babies being half Nigerian dwarf, they're about half the size of a normal goat for her type. So the, the babies are a lot smaller. And so for that, they'd be able to, you know, I think she'd be able to handle all four. I mean, we're going to have to keep an eye on them and check them every day and make sure everybody's drinking and everybody's doing well. I wouldn't just, you know, but I always like to pick them up, like I said, fill their belly. If their belly feels like they got milk in it, then you know that they're drinking and they're doing well. If you pick them up and they feel skinny and you can tell they're not drinking, then you need to intervene. Looks like mom's doing really well. We checked all the babies out. It looks like all of them have drank that they all have uh, some milk in their bellies. I haven't really seen her clean the whole way yet. The last baby had come out and there was a lot of placenta that came out with that baby. I mean, maybe that was her cleaning. I didn't think it was quite enough, but doesn't look like she's pushing right now. She hasn't really done anything in a while here. I just have to keep an eye on that, keep checking her. Make sure she doesn't get sick from a retained placenta. We'll keep you updated on it.
Well, that was pretty exciting that we got another set of quads. It's our only second set of quads, but this time here, all four of them lived. So that's really exciting news for us. Thanks for stopping by the homestead, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.